This is day seven of quarantine, so I decided to make a couple videos. And this banjo is one I just got done with. It has a 1926 Gibson ball bearing tone ring in it. Um, I won it on an eBay bid. I was kind of excited to see how it sounded. Um, none of the other parts are Gibson, though. Um, I did all the inlays. It's got a maple block rim, which you can't see. Um, maple neck, maple resonator. Um, originally, these tone rings had balls, and then they had springs under the ball bearings. I tried using the springs on one of these pots. It didn't really work. So on this one, I decided to use no springs and just went for a solid brass ball on top of the maple pot with the tone ring on top. Um, I did quite a bit of research on YouTube to see <clears throat> um, what other people thought of them, but there's not too many videos of them. So I decided I'd make this one. Um, even though it's not on an actual Gibson, it is a Gibson ball bearing tone ring. And uh, I'm recording this on my phone, so the sound may not come through. From what I can tell, it's not quite as bright as a regular flathead tone ring. It's still pretty good, though. I, I like it. It projects pretty good, but it's not super piercing. Uh, we'll play a couple tunes real quick. Um, how about some Lonesome Road Blues? I said I like the sound um, I got a radius fretboard on here I think it's a 12 inch radius um, all the inlays are deer I don't know if you can see it but there's a deer carving right on the heel no you can't see it but all in all I kind of like it um, sound um, but like I said not as bright and uh, yeah I'll probably I think may I mainly play claw hammer old time style so I think I'm just gonna take the resonator and flange off of it and I'll just play it that way um, I'll play you one more tune claw hammer and then I'll uh, show you the inside of it sitting on a whole bunch of little brass ball bearings.